Hey Dungeoneers, Luke here, and welcome to the first impressions video for the brand new class, guys. It's gonna be Lawn today, it's gonna be a Lawn video, and I know I'm probably pronouncing the name wrong, like I pronounce everything wrong, but that's alright, we're just gonna hop on in, and we're gonna see what we think. So, the class came out, uh, I think yesterday or the day before, uh, but people have been waiting for this class for a really long time, guys. It's been out in Korea for quite a bit. And uh, it seems like a lot of people are getting really hype about it. They really, really want to see what's going on. Um, now, I personally have looked up almost nothing about the class. I don't know anything about it outside of the fact that she has a sword and it looks like they might be on, like, you know, lasso -y chain type deal. But really, guys, I don't know anything about this class. So I'm going in with a fresh mind. No, uh, no, you know, ideas of what I'm going to be expecting. We're going right on in. Uh, so we're going to create one right now. She looks kind of cute, guys, but I think we could, uh, I think we could fix it up a bit. All right, that's perfect, guys. It looks great. I, <laughs> I, <laughs> I, <laughs> I went to beauty, <laughs> I went to the beauty of them, guys, and I went to top downloaded, and I was scrolling through, and I couldn't help but notice, uh, where is it? It was a little bit higher up, I thought. Oh, where did it go? Oh, you know what? I don't even see it anymore, guys. But it was basically the most downloaded uh, most downloaded template. And I was scrolling through. And uh, I saw a booty. <laughs> and that was all it was. There was just a booty. Nothing, nothing else. And I'm like, huh. I like booty. I'm going to make a booty character. <laughs> so I selected it. And <laughs> that's her face. <laughs> That's so fucking good because she looks so stupid, but when you turn her around, she's just got this massive donk. <laughs> it's so, but her face is so fucking stupid. Oh my god, I love it. Oh, we're gonna, this, this is it. This is the character. Click his punch. Right click is, it seems to be put weapons away. Oh, now we're teleporting around. But when I press tab... Which is usually my hotkey for putting weapons away. She, uh... She punches. <laughs> I'm trying to put my weapon away here so I can... You know, check stuff, but I don't... Oh god. Oh god. I'm not... What is happening? I don't... I don't know what this is. Hello? What is happening? Why am I not allowed to go anywhere? <laughs> Black Desert, ladies and gentlemen. What a wonderful game. All right, so here we are, boys. We are finally back. I guess I just needed to restart the game. I don't really know what was going on there. But now, you know, we can actually do our, our swingy attacks. That's pretty sweet. Okay, so it looks like um, our main hand is actually the pendulum, and the sword is the offhand, which is actually kind of cool. Um, I kind of thought that when I saw the pendulum, it was going to be the offhand, but... I guess not. So, let's go take out some grass beetles and see what kind of uh, abilities we have. So, our left click is a instant level up, apparently. Our left click seems to be a nice... Our left click seems to be... A... Our left click seems to be a nice little AoE sort of combo. Uh, decent range on it, it looks like. It actually seems to hit from pretty far away. Nice, uh... Nice big sweeping auto attacks. I really, really like that, actually. That's, um... Really, really cool. So the right click. Oh god, her voice is awful. The right click seems to be a very uh, simple sword slashing maneuver, but it's actually pretty good. Like it looks like a pretty long range. Uh, I'm excited. Whoa, hello. I'm actually, uh, I'm actually liking that a lot. It's really cool. Straight slashes, really, really good. It's good. So let's see what other kind of skills we got here. Pendulum cleaver. That's a left mouse button. What does that do? Oh, that's a big swing and AoE. All right. What other skills we got? That's our regular left click. Uh, what is this one? Auto activated on forward. Okay. Oh, wait, what? Oh, she like throws it straight forwards. That's cool. So it's like a ranged almost. Well, I mean, they're all sort of ranged, but like it seems like a longer sort of range poke attack. That's pretty cool. Uh, usual evasion, left and right. What is this one? Right mouse button. That's our sword stab. Shift and backwards. Quickly dodge backwards to avoid the opponent's attacks. 
Ooh, that <laughs> Oh, that is a long ass dodge. Holy moly. That that's a distance. Holy mackerel. Okay. What else we got here? Dodge, what are these? Uh left and right mouse buttons, sort of regular sword slashing attacks. Ooh, a sort of juggle ability. Forward right mouse button, regular slash. Q. Super armor upon activation. So it's so it's a, a super armor buff. Oh, it's a, is it a taunt? Draws the attention of surrounding foes. Oh. So it looks like she has a sort of taunt here, guys. That's kind of cool. Um, I don't know how tanky she's going to get, because I know the striker is sort of meant to be the, the tankier sort of class and the berserker and stuff, but it's kind of cool um, that she has one of these, because it, it means we could actually get like a real sort of, you know, aggro drawing class. That's that's pretty sweet. Uh, we have a kick, but nobody really cares about kicks unless you're PvPing, and that ain't for me. Uh, space bar, that will be our, our obvious, our space bar skill. Um, performing an attack to quickly slash the opponent and stun them. Okay, so it's like an auto attack reset and it's a stun. That's pretty cool. So how does that work? Oh, so it's like a quick draw of the sword. Okay. Oh, this is, this is going to be good. That's really, really cool. Okay, and I think the rest of them are just regular attacks. I don't think I have anything. Ooh, what is this? Backwards F. All right, we'll give that one a try. Let me see. We got backwards F. I'm just going to put these. Can I put these on my hotbar for now? No. Okay. I was hoping I could put them on there just to sort of show them off, but so we got backwards left mouse button. That's a big AOE. Oh, wow. We got a lot of abilities. Okay. Let's just try some of them. So backwards left mouse button after the leg. Okay. So that's a big sweeping long range attack. That's pretty cool. And we get a level up on it. Nice, nice, nice. The shift one. Seems to lag out the character model a lot, but outside of that, it seems pretty badass. Sort of a slam ability. Oh, that's sweet, guys. All right. Well, you know what? Let's uh, let's stop killing these grass beetles. What just happened? <laughs> what the fuck was that? I was like sprinting, and it just like, what the fuck was that? How did I do that? Did. It Wait, how did I actually do that? I I was sprinting and I pressed space. What was this? Fall damage reduction effect. I'm going to wait for all this to run out. See how I did that. That was so cool. What? I was sprinting and I like... How did I do that? Guys, what? There we go again. I'm like... What the fuck? How am I doing this? What is this? No. Not that. Not that. Is it this? Nope. How am I doing these abilities? I don't see it in the skill bar unless I'm blind. What? Oh. Shift in space. Oh, okay. Oh, that's what it was. Okay, so I was sprinting and I tried to jump. Okay, there we go. Yo! What? That's so sweet. Oh my god, that is awesome. You can literally just fly on this class. Oh, yo, this is, this is hot shit. This is, this is cool right here. Oh, I'm liking this a lot. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, this, this class is sweet, guys. <laughs> this class is cool. I don't know. Oh, look at that. Oh, no, I hit a rock. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna have to see how this class does in, like, late game stuff, but oh my god, guys, this is so awesome. Whew. Nice. Nice. All right, so I just found out that you are supposed to be able to attack while using that. All right, Dungeoneer, so I just found out that you're actually supposed to be able to attack while using that dashing ability. So I'm going to try it out on some of these weasels over here and see if it, uh, what kind of ability it has. I didn't watch the preview video. So you can run, start your dash, jump, air dash, and just AoE land and big mass. <laughs> Big massive AoEs. It looks like that's uh, the name of the game when it comes to this class here. She seems to be big sweeping farming AoEs. Um, I distinctly... It, she definitely feels like a PvE kind of class. Um, I know that usually when I say stuff like that, she ends up becoming the best PvPer in the game. Um, because that's exactly what I said about <laughs> Mystic. When Mystic came out, I'm like, oh, this is a grinding class. And then she became best at literally everything in the game. Best class in the game. But uh, this definitely feels like... It, she doesn't seem like she has a lot of single target damage right now. 
Um, I'm sure down the line she'll probably pick up some stuff. And of course, awakenings change everything about the class, right? Like, uh, once you get your awakening, it's completely different than what it is uh, while you're leveling up. So uh, it's really, really hard to judge based on that. But as of right now, like this, this pre... Um, this pre-awakening sort of abilities, it definitely, definitely feels, uh, it feels good. Don't get me wrong. She feels, she feels hella good, but she feels very AOE PVE focused. Uh, but we'll have to see how she does in PVP. Um, oh, that's, that, whoa, that's a lot of blood. All right. So this is the shift left mouse button ability. It seems to, I think it's a knockdown as well, which will be really, really nice because, you know, it, it's not hard to land. A lot of these abilities seem relatively simple to land, and it should be uh, it should be super cool. I just love her abilities, man. It's so, like, she's so, like, smooth, and she has all these, like, cool effects, like this one. She just, like, pulls up and just starts, like, spinning on stuff. Like, <laughs> she's so fun, guys. I, I can't, like, impart that on you enough, how awesome she feels to play. She feels really smooth. Um, some of the classes in this game can actually feel very clunky, um, at least until you learn a lot of their, you know, animation cancels and stuff like that, uh, movement commands, you know, different things like that. But as of right now, the lawn definitely feels very, very smooth to play, very, very easy to play. She feels good. She feels good. I, I gotta, I gotta put that on you, but... So this is another move that apparently you can do. Uh, I just learned it there. You saw it up in the top there. It's uh, backwards and F and then left click while it's hitting them. And it seems to be a good sort of juggling sort of combo move. I'm sure uh, I'm sure if I wasn't these guys in one hit, it would definitely be juggling them up in the air. It's really, she's so like, she feels so smooth though. A lot of really good AOEs. I gotta figure out how to use the sword a little bit better though. Cause I feel like the sword is gonna be the another really, really great part of this class. Cause I know a lot of uh, classes, their, their offhand is more of like a stat holder. Uh, perfect example is like wizard, right? So wizard, you don't actually use the dagger that much. Um, I mean, no, like he has a stab ability and stuff like that, but you don't really, you don't really use it. You know what I mean? Like when you're playing Musa, like are you ever really using the bow aside from really situational times? Not right, but the lawn, she feels like she might actually have a use for the sword because she has a couple of, like, cool abilities. Also, I don't know what I just did. The screen just, like, froze and then everything died. I'm just mashing buttons and stuff's happening. <laughs> that, that, it feels like a button mashy class for sure, though. It, it's definitely a button mashy sort of class because every ability is just a big whirling AoE auto attack. It's, it's pretty great. So uh, what do we got to do here? We're going to kill a few more things. And then uh, I think, you know what? I I'm really liking the lawn. I think I might actually continue this series. I wasn't having a super great time uh, over on the Mystic. But this is feeling really good. So I think I might actually head over to Heidel and take my, my AFK money, which I've gotten quite a bit of. And uh, use that AFK money to buy a little bit of gear for uh, this old lawn here. Um, probably just buy a couple of plus 15 stuff like that, you know some good like starting grind gear and uh, get her up to 56 It could be a good time So what I'm gonna do here guys, I'm actually going to finish the quest here uh, Once I'm done having fun killing all these imps because she is hella fun to play uh, Once I'm done collecting the imp wizard staffs I'm gonna head on over to the Western Guard camp finish that quest there uh, Just a lot of talking and stuff you guys probably don't want to see because you've all done it already and then we will head over to Heidel, and we will pick um, pick the blip, 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 pick ourselves up some good stuff to fight with. So I will see you guys in the town of Heidel. Alrighty, everyone. So here we are. Uh, I've transferred some of the gear over from the Valkyrie that I was leveling in Rags to Riches. I've transferred it over to the Lawn for this. Uh, I got the plus fifteen Grunel. Uh, three piece as well as the roaring magical armor uh, that you get from finishing the quest line now the only thing that I'm missing here guys is the weapon and the offhand now I made a slight a slight error in judgment guys uh, the class came out today and when the class comes out you're 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 gonna have an issue 
uh, getting weapons off the marketplace. So I managed to snag myself one of these uh, Stide Pendulums, which will work a little bit while we're leveling. Um, so I think what I'm going to do, guys, in the next video, I'm going to go out and do some grinding, try and get some levels. Uh, and before I leave, I'm going to just drop a whole bunch of bids and see if I win anything. And then we can always just head back to Heidel and get our stuff there if we really, really need it. Uh, this will work okay for now. I'm probably just going to farm Goblin Cave, something like that. Uh, so, you know, 18 to 22 AP isn't that bad. Um, I would love an ultimate stide, which I think is about 32, which is around equal to a plus five, plus six. Um, but basically for the next hour or so, guys, I'm just going to camp on the marketplace, uh, see what kind of cool things we can get, what kind of weapons we can get. Um, and I, before, before anybody says a comment about it, I know that you can trade in the Black Abyssal weapon for another weapon. And I tried to do that and I traded it in and I got the box. And then when I tried to move the box to another place in my inventory, I may have accidentally opened the box and now I have to wait a week before, uh, before I can exchange it again. So forgetting all of that, uh, we're just going to camp on the marketplace, see if we can pick anything up. And when we come back for the next video, guys, we're going to start grinding and we're going to see what this class can do in some real combat -y action. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great night.